so Keiko. Yes, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, tell us, what did you experience during your resonance alchemy session? Uh, is that the first session I got, or I forgot which one is a resonance uh, um, session? Okay, it, that was the second session. So I'll ask the question again. Sorry. Um, what did you experience during mm. your resonance alchemy vibrational healing session? Um, I learned a lot of things, something that I knew that I never uh, learned, uh, although I was into meditation since the beginning of this year, especially the movement uh, with my breath and the focus on more on my breath that really helps me to uh, feel expanded rather than constricted and uh, awareness in my body. I think that uh, it's a huge, it was huge for me. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So during your session this afternoon, what did you experience? You had mentioned that you had um, kind of fallen asleep, mm -hmm. but what did you, what did you feel? I felt that I was in a different world, not I'm in my body, but not in my body. I'm, I'm not sure if that does make any sense. Um, but I felt like I was floating. Um, I was grounded, but at the same time I was floating with my energy maybe. Mm -hmm. That kind of feeling that I had. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, <clears throat> during your overall retreat mm -hmm. here, um, what benefits do you feel that you receive that other people may be able to receive as well? What are the benefits? Just to uh, learn about yourself. Because a lot of people think that they know about themselves, but they don't. And uh, I especially recommend people living in a big city like myself in New York. You need to get out, uh, be still, and be with yourself and uh, like John said to listen to uh, stillness um, you need that from time to time or it, it, you know ideally every day um, and uh, that's something that benefit uh, to me just remind myself to be mindful even not only during my meditation practice but throughout the day mm -hmm. which you know sometimes I forget with the busy life but um, yeah I think something uh, about being mindful and uh, pause and if I fall back into the old habit or old pattern of thinking pause and then just observe right. the observer uh, mm -hmm. the witness being the witness mm -hmm. so um, that's also very personal uh, uh, treatment uh, by both of you, you know, Christine and John, and uh, that's not uh, something that you can find easily. Uh, it was very special because a lot of times the retreat is as a group. You know, a lot of people apply for the a package and come in the group, and probably not really like have the uh, personal individual attention. But here, oh my gosh, it's one on one session, very intensive. So it was really good for me to speak out my mind and feelings and emotion that really helped me sort of, uh, sort of organize my thought, what I have been thinking that I never thought that I was thinking kind of thing. So it's really helped myself clarify right. about myself. And with John's coaching, mm -hmm. as a professional coach yourself, mm -hmm. um, what was the biggest takeaway for um, you biggest takeaway for me uh, to uh, acknowledge that I have uh, each uh, stage of uh, level of feeling and uh, just know when I had those experience in my daily life and maybe move up to the higher level that I can see the uh, picture because it was really vague. I know that's a uh, negative emotion and a positive emotion, but I never really thought about the structure wise. Mm -hmm. So it was, a, that, that, that was the biggest takeaway. And <clears throat> on a scale of one to 10, mm -hmm. 
how transformed do you feel from when you arrived and when you're leaving? Mm. 10 being the highest and one being the lowest. I would say nine to five. 0 0.5 remaining is the one that, okay, I really, you know, put myself into it after I leave this place, you know, not to fall back. Well, it's okay to fall back, but I remember to continue on my practice. So I would say 9.5. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That was 